Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app demo for Project 83113 by NCSoft. This iOS universal platformer game features a futuristic man vs. machine storyline in four different worlds of frantic shooting, dodging, leaping, diving, ducking, and wall climbing gameplay. Tap in the play, you'll go into the four worlds. We're going to go into level three to give you an example of how this game plays. Your hero is Bell. Swipe to the right, and Bell will run continuously. Swipe to the left, the same. Tap on the screen for a second, or hold on the screen. Bell will stop and swipe down to dive down and slide on your back. Tap on the enemies to shoot them with your gun. You'll get chain reaction effects where enemies are together, they will die together. Now the hole there that was blue and turned green is a checkpoint. You're gonna wanna make sure you hit those checkpoints because you will die in this game, trust me. There are hazards like the saw and the laser you see there that will also deplete Bell's life. And the green floating triangles are the in-app currency which will help to upgrade weapons and buy bombs and the like. The floating TV sets are actually going to give you tips on how to play the game. And if you jump off and hold on the screen, Bell will glide down which is very handy in certain cases. She can climb walls as well, very handily, and jump off of them, slide down on your back, tap on the enemies to get rid of them, and be careful not to run out of that health indicator in the upper left. If you do, well, you die. There are also plenty of, 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 of hidden objects in this game. Cassette tapes that tell you about Bell's past, or VCR tapes. There are also other items to find, and if you kill all the enemies, you'll get a hunter badge, which means you're a hunter. The bombs are the big flashes of orange that you see projecting out of Bell. You can see she can climb up walls and slide down walls. Again, swipe up twice to double jump and then hold on the screen to glide down. You want to get to that floating cube. Once you do, the level is over. You'll get a readout of how you did. This is off to a boss battle at the end of World 1. At the end of World 1, you're going to have to defeat the shield generator. And you'll do that by trying to stay alive. And again, if you haven't noticed, the blue or the health comes to you from defeating your enemy. But you have to watch out for their pink bullets because those will take you out. You can see I have very little life left, but a bomb at the right time will take out the generator and we complete the level. Now I'm going to give you some examples of the World 2 and World 3's gameplay. Much different, you can see the platforms are disintegrating under my hero's feet. You can swipe twice to get that little turbo blast and you can climb off walls. But you have to be careful, you can only do those so many times before you fall. Watch out for the giant metal pieces flying down and then slide down the wall before you go down because sometimes there's nothing there. You'll notice here that the floor is disintegrating again. You have to defeat the enemies and go upward to figure out the puzzle for each level. Always get the checkpoints. You don't have to be on the level to get the checkpoints. You can actually be up in the air above them. Swipe down to slide like that and you'll see the floor is disintegrating. Keep on going. It's a very action-packed game and you'll find that it gets more action-packed the farther you go. Now here's a level, and this is Bell's sidekick, Rob. This is more of a strategy level, not action-packed. Rob is a very slow walker. He's got to stay out of the machine's view, which is that cone of white going down. You'll have to swipe Rob to the right or left, and he'll continuously move. Swipe up, and he floats for a moment. And again, checkpoints are also in this level. Tap on those little green or horizontal lines and you will activate the different views of the machines. Swipe Rob to the right, he's going to have to float over that gap and there's another switch there to move the machine's view. A checkpoint at the right time, an elevator up and Rob's goal is to get to the blueprints past this final machine. He does so, he's not fast but he is uh, thoughtful and he does a good job. This is a very action-packed game, it's futuristic, again, a battle of man against machine in the future Earth. We'll head out to the main screen, and here you can turn off sound effects, you can turn off the music, and you can also toggle off or tap on the credits to find out more about the developers. In the upper right you have Game Center and the developers online community. 
That's it. Until next time, see ya.